giving you a voice, making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. Moving into the top 10, uh, in the 10th spot is team number 16. From Mountain, Mountain Home, Arkansas, and Mountain Home Career Academics, it's the Bomb Squad. They have an overall record of 9-4, and four, and they were the semifinalists at the Midwest Regional. With their iconic swerve drive, the Bomb Squad took the field. Here it is, Justin, at the iconic Midwest uh, Regional, huh. um, passing up the Rock City Regional in their home state, which they won't be competing at, um, I think, for the first time in a few years. Um, so they are quick around the field and have an impressive floor intake for the hatch panels. Uh, and, and they had three, uh, four ranking point matches, three of those unicorn matches. The bomb squad would take the number two seed. I'm um, sucking 23, 38 and 1675 to their Alliance. They would get through quarterfinals, but fall short in two matches to the number three Alliance. So we saw four versus three there, which we kind of talked about earlier with the one, 11, 48. Um, so they will compete next at the rocket city regional, uh, where they'll be looking for the first blue banner of the season. So legendary team here, bomb squad, um, 16, just, um, their swerve drive is just unmatched. Um, and, uh, and a year like this where defense, um, is prevalent, um, it had definitely has a, has a spot for it and, and can uh, maneuver the field quickly. So congrats to 16, uh, making their debut here at number 10. So a couple of comments on my end. Uh, so, uh, 16, I thought looked really good. Somebody points in uh, chat that they have some drop hatches. I agree with that. Uh, their, their driving, I think, got better as the event went, and then they just had uh, they had a breakdown. I mean, it, into the semifinals, they they couldn't get their climb going. Things just were not looking right. Uh, so unfortunate to see, but uh, was their robot phenomenal up to, up through uh, quals? Yeah, I mean, it, it was really good. I mean, you can talk about you know them dropping things occasionally, but they were ranked number two, uh, and they actually a uh, little bit of uh, insight is uh, the number one alliance did not pick uh, Bomb Squad as they knew that they were going to decline mm -hmm. uh, for that. So uh, interestingly, because both of those alliances went out in the semifinals, right? Uh, so interesting uh, for that as well, too. Uh, but yeah, I expect Bomb, Bomb Squad just uh, continuing their thing. I mean, Swerve Drive, you know, I don't know how many of you have driven a Swerve Drive, but it is not easy to drive. Uh, and so uh, the more tweaking, uh, the better for something like that. But 16, definitely a great team. Um, would they have been in 10 in my personal poll? No, I probably would have put them a bit lower. Lower. Uh, but I, you know, I still think their robot is really, really good. And uh, I think it has a lot of great potential, especially if that client yeah. uh, gets working and doesn't break down. Mm -hmm. For sure. Cool. Congrats to 16. And then moving on to our ninth ring team, that's going to be another legendary team, 67. From Highland, Michigan, here on Valley Schools, it's the Hall of Fame hot team, 16 and 3 overall, and we're the winners of the Milford District event. So, my first year in FRC 2005, Hot won six banners, mm. including the ultimate double cling bling, world championships, and world chairmen. 15 years later, still producing incredible machines, and this one is no different. Fast elevator, ease with cargo and hatches, and a quick, confident climb. Uh, is the whole package for the hot bot. They have the number one seed and bounce back after dropping the first finals match uh, in Milford to take the win. So another great season started for 67, and it will continue in FIM at the Lincoln event. Good luck mm. to Team 67, the hot team. Mm. No legend. No comments, on, no comments on 67, guys. <laughs> no, I, I mean, Mike, Mike was on the show. Uh, uh, Mike from 67, the dry coach, is one of our hosts on the uh, Infamination show, uh, and I think talked about it well. So if you really want to hear it from the straight from the dry coach there, go watch the Infamination show, and that will give you uh, some more insight on 67's robot. Fantastic. All right, so moving on to the eighth-ranked team, we have 2791. From Latham, New York, and Shaker High School is Shaker Robotics. An overall record of 15 and 3. They were the winners of the New York Tech Valley Regional. So Shaker enters the 2019 competition season at the Tech Valley Regional, uh, where they've had some success as of late. They won the event in 2017, and they were the finalists there last year. They're a big name in Central New York, and Shaker finished second with a 2.66 ranking score average and were scooped up by the number one seed. Um, Another Central New York powerhouse, Team 20, we talked about. Scoring as high as an unpenalized 90 in the playoffs, Shaker would go on to win the event. An amazing auto for 2791. They come backwards off the second level of the HAB and delivers two hatches um, to level two of the rocket, all in the sandstorm. Uh, they're so quick around the field. They've had five four ranking point matches and qualification matches. And they also have a have three climbs. So they have a really, really yeah. nice robot this year. Yeah. It looks really, really good. And uh, good luck to them going forward. And uh, they're here at number it eight. Turns out they are known outside of the region. Who knew, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Well, when you, when you have right. a robot as good as theirs, it's hard to miss. I mean, no doubt. You know, they're a, 
they're a New York team. We're a New York team, so you know, always, always like to check in the competition. And I watched their first match off the bus, full rocket. So I was like, okay, <laughs> they're, uh, they're, they're bringing it. So, yeah, another uh, just a great robot uh, for Shaker. So yeah. three, three teams, uh, at least so far, uh, from the uh, New York regional. Uh, this week, guys, I, like yeah. I think that yeah. you know, I think that just shows you know that people are paying attention uh, to multiple areas, and it's it's cool to see uh, those three fantastic teams uh, yeah. make it in the top twenty-five. And that's and that's not a pull from Justin and I either. Like, there's a lot of we don't do very good promoting it at, at our own like hometown. There's a lot of people that don't <laughs> know like about yeah. FRC top twenty-five. So that is yeah, that is really great to see. So, yeah. All right. All right. Um, that being. Being said, we move on to our seventh ranked team, and that's going to be team 987. From Las Vegas, Nevada, Cimarron Memorial High School, it's the Hall of Fame High Rollers, 16 and 2 overall, and we're the winners of the San Diego Regional. So, your 2016 Hall of Fame inductees began their season at the sunny San Diego Regional with a 2.9 RS. They took the number one seed going undefeated. They stuck to the Millennium Falcons, who have already racked up uh, or who had already racked up a win. Earlier in the season, the number of Lions did have to go through two rubber matches in the semifinals and the finals, but came out on top both times to take the win. So congrats to them, and you can catch them again with Tyler at the Lost hey. Regional Week 5. Yeah, I'm nice. excited to see this row out in oh, person. Yeah. Yeah, uh, sure. Very, very excited. It's, uh, I mean, the, I think last year had a little bit of a hiccup for them. Um, you know, still, still a good robot, no doubt. Uh, but this year, uh, very much so. I, I think kind of like 359 a little bit, just came out as absolutely swinging. Uh, looking really, really, really good. Uh, no doubt my favorite uh, to win the Las Vegas Regional uh, come week five. Very excited to see this spot. Yeah, I'm kind of jealous that you're going to be out there and seeing them. So I mean, you can always come out. Just I saying. could, man. I could. Yeah, so jealous that Mike, who moved from New York to Florida temporarily. Yeah. Uh, you know, so jealous of the uh, sleet I have outside right now. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> Or you guys can oh. scratch all that and come to Long Island. <laughs> that yeah, yeah, I'm, going to, I'm going to the UP this weekend. So. UP? Yeah, UP of Michigan. Hey, oh, hey. oh, sure. All right, so that was the seventh ranked team. In the sixth spot, we have team 1619. From uh, Longmont, Colorado, it's Zuppa Creek Robotics. They have an overall record of 15 and 2, and they were the winners of the Oklahoma. Oh, here's the. I love this video. They were the winners of the Oklahoma Regional. So we got to see the reveal video last week um, and created quite the hype for their debut this past weekend. And their video didn't disappoint at all. Perfect 9 0 record earned them the top spot at the Regional. And though the finals got a little rocky um, and a, a DQ on the Alliance, maybe Nick can help us out. I didn't, I couldn't quite get what happened there either. Um, they battled back in the semifinals and, and that was also taken to three matches in the finals, but came out victorious. Their placement of hatches um, is just like, as you just saw right there is just firm to the rocket or the, or the ship. Um, and the climb on the hab is, as we had talked about at length, is just unique and it's just absolutely wonderful to watch um, and awesome. So they'll be competing in, uh, back in their home state later this month where they'll hit the ground running. Um, on their quest for their second blue banner of the season. So good luck um, and congratulations to 1619 uh, Upper Creek Robotics. Um, so I know I asked Clint about that, uh, who's uh, who's one of the members of the team as well and one of our hosts, uh, and says that the game announcer said the red card was for G19, confirmed by a student uh, who talked to the ref and said that damage was intentional. So, uh, so I, I didn't actually get a full chance to really look this over. Um, but interested to see what some of you might think uh, if you get an opportunity to see. I think it's semifinal three, if I remember correctly. Uh, so you can check that out and uh, let us know what you thought in chat. Sweet. I just, I, granted, I, I have not seen the clip. I don't know what, I don't know the clip at all. I just think in general, for them to call red card on intentional damage, unless the team held up a sign that said, hey, we're going to intentionally damage your robot. I think it's, mm. I just don't see how referee can, can say what the team was intending to do uh, unless they somehow made it very clear. I just think that's I should, a little I mean, bit that, sketchy. I was going to say, should that be a topic for another show? Like, should it just the, should the wording change to damage, whether intentional or unintentional? Yeah. Like, I don't know. You know, should that, yeah. I don't think yeah. I, you would hope that none of, you know, none of any of this would be intentional, you know, but um, yeah. So that leads us to our break. I'm just going to quickly insert the snub of the week here uh, and then we'll do our giveaway. Uh, yeah, I kind of already mentioned them, but, but 7498 Wingus and Dingus, um, they were the eighth seed at the Canadian Pacific Regional. And as we talked about, they were selected um, to the number one alliance with 359. So they are not in the top five. 
Um, so it's okay to talk about them. But And they also obviously are in the highest rookie seed there at the regional. But they are just a really, really great robot and uh, just really um, came out strong as a as a rookie team to FRC, as we also talked about. But um, there, there's your stub of the week, 7498. What was their uh, 7498? Yeah. I mean, let's see where they ended up. All the way down at 181. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That is huge a snub, snub. Man. Holy yeah. cow. Mm-hmm. Huh. All right. <laughs> Can't so, can't get them all apparently. So. Yeah. <laughs> so Clint uh, just clipped for for a clip of interest for the the red card. It it was yeah it was an interesting uh, interesting yeah, so the bat- decision. The battery like fell out of the bottom of the robot. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and it looked yeah. like the robot was pretty much falling apart before that had happened. <laughs> so I don't I don't disagree, so. I don't agree with that call at all. But yeah, you can all just, right. So. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live and independent. Pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now.